In this video, I would like to demonstrate the use of the Replace Reference tool in OpenRoads. This tool will take a ruled civil feature and replace the element that it is ruled to with a different specified element. It's easiest to show this in an example. In this DGN file, I have two center lines, which are alternate 1 in red and alternate 2, which is displayed here in white. So let's say that I had designed my roadway geometry using alternate 1. So maybe I went in and created a road edge of pavement using this single offset tool. So I would go in, I would locate my alternate 1, give that an offset of 12. I'm not going to mirror this. So now I've created this ruled element, and you can see when you highlight this that it is ruled to alternate 1. Now I could go in and create the other edge of pavement, and just for this example I'm going to rule it to this other edge of pavement. So I'll go in and use this command again, single offset entire element. I'm going to pick this, and I'm actually going to rule that by minus 24. So I'm just going to place it on the other side of the roadway and I'm not going to mirror it. So now you can see that we have this element ruled to the center line and this element is ruled to this right edge of pavement. So at some point in project design, let's say that we've determined that we're going to use alternate 2 instead. Instead of having to recreate any geometry that's been built for alternate 1, you can simply use the replace reference tool to reassign the rules for these elements to this alternate 2. So what you would need to do is select this edge of pavement. If you look in the rules drop down, you'll see this icon which is replace reference. So I'll select that. Notice that the element that is currently serving as the reference is highlighted here in yellow now. I'm prompted to locate the replacement element, so I'll go out and select alternate 2. And when I do that, you can see that not only does this element that I had applied the command to, not only is it moved to alternate 2, but anything that is ruled to it is also moved to alternate 2. So let me do an undo and just show you what would happen. If I change the reference on this one, it would not work as desired. So let's say that I selected this left edge of pavement, went in, and used replace reference. You can see that the right edge of pavement is in yellow. And if I go in and select this, it's going to be 24 feet to the left of this alternate two. So as you can see, that's not really what we want. So it's important when making these changes and using this tool that you understand how the elements were ruled in the first place.